my desire when I became a coach was to help people to achieve the maximum they might be able to achieve as a player. That's the individual objective and then within the team how can we be the best possible team and how do we win? Um, and obviously at different age groups that you work with the balance of what's the most important part in that can change a bit but fundamentally um, if we're helping players to develop and improve then we have a better chance of winning. So for me it's, um, it's about improving the individuals and improving the team, um, focusing on the things that, that we can affect, that the player can affect. I like players to have responsibility, to think about what we're asking them to do, to have an opinion on the way that we're asking them to play and the way that we're asking them to train. I think if they have some ownership of what's going on then um, that's going to help them to make better decisions on the field and also probably to buy in more to the way that we're trying to progress. So certainly senior players would have a very good view on what they, um, what's brought them success. They're the ones playing the game, so if I don't listen to their opinions and their views then we're missing a piece of evidence and opinion that can make us a better team. Uh, so I like to hear that, I like them to speak up in meetings, I like them to have an opinion on the game because in the 85th minute they've got to make a decision that might win or lose the game and uh, we can't make all of those decisions from the sideline. There are many different ways of coaching um, because everybody has an individual personality and has individual strengths and weaknesses. So what I think is the way forward might not be the same for another coach. Um, but my approach would be to have, I like to have empathy with people. Um, I think it helps once you learn how to teach and how to, uh, how to coach. My playing experience can give me empathy with the players. Um, but that isn't essential to, to being a top coach because there's lots of people that haven't had uh, careers uh, as international players that have been outstanding coaches. But I think it's important to listen, I think it's important to feel what motivates the individual, Why do, how do we help them to become the best possible player, um, how do we open their minds to thinking in, it, in a different way, um, how do we challenge them in the right way, how do we support them. Um, I think as a coach you've always got to be there to support the person, think about the person, um, and then improving them as a player it b becomes um, not s secondary to a degree, but I think if a player feels that you respect them and you want to help them, then they're more likely to listen to you and, and follow you. I think I have a good understanding of what the end needs to look like for top players. Um, I think I know what's required of teams in order to win, the level of detail, the level of professionalism, the mentality, um, but also because I've learned from things that have gone wrong and had to pick myself up from being a very young player right the way through to being a senior player and a, and a coach. Um, because of those failures I feel it gives you the freedom almost to say well how might we be the best possible team and, and not be afraid about what goes wrong because whatever goes wrong we can deal with, have lived through. Um, so I think that gives me freedom to allow the players to express themselves uh, and to challenge them to be the best they might be.